Good morning, church. Today is the day we honor our graduates, and I would just like to say to Donna and Robin and all the musicians, I usually just take them for granted, hoping that they will be here, and I apologize. If you would please play something for them to march in, I would appreciate it. start with our college graduates and our very first graduate is Megan Kaplan. <laughs> Megan is the daughter of Jason and Lori Kaplan and she graduated from Radford University with a Bachelor of Science degree in interdisciplinary studies elementary education and she is licensed for pre-k through sixth grade. And Megan completed her early field experience in student teaching in Radford City Schools. While there, she was also a tutor in the Book Buddies program, a reading program for the first grade. She graduated summa cum laude, that's with highest distinction. And while here at church, she is part of the sound and media and, of course, the Easter drama. Her future plans include that she has accepted a position with Pulaski County Public Schools teaching first grade at Riverlawn Elementary School. And in just six short days, she's getting married. <laughs> Thank you. Our next college graduate is Pamela Shelton Smallwood. And Pamela also graduated from Radford University with a Master of Science in Corporate and Professional Communication degree. Her church activities include singing in the choir, being a member of the praise team, and singing specials. Her future plans is that she is currently employed at Radford University in the Human Resources Department, and she works as a Human Resources Consultant. She plans to continue her career path in human resources. <laughs> now we're going to our high school graduates and our very first high school graduate is Kaylee Marie Chrisley. <laughs> she is the daughter of Stanley and Julie White. Kaylee was homeschooled, and she graduated high school from Penn Foster with honors. Kaylee also doubled up on her studies and worked really hard and graduated two years early, all with honors. <laughs> While attending the Fairlawn Church of God, she's been an active member of the youth group. She's participated in the Easter drama for the last four years. She attended Winterfest for the last four years. She's a member of the choir, participated in volunteering for her vacation Bible school and the children's ministry. Her future plans include attending online classes through Liberty University in pursuit of a career in the medical field. Our next graduate is Haley Coleman. Haley graduated from Pulaski County High School, and she is the daughter of Bobby and Sherry Coleman. While attending uh, Pulaski County, Haley was the Skills USA Chapter President, the Skills USA District 7 Secretary, the Skills USA State Champion, and Nationals Competitor in Job Skill Demonstration. She also obtained a cosmetology license. She was the color guard captain and joined Absolute Independent 
which I have no clue what that is, but that was in Johnson City, Tennessee. <laughs> and while attending the Fairlawn Church of God, Haley was a member of the youth group. She was a nursery worker, a kids' church volunteer, a vacation Bible school dancer, LOL, she said, and a dancer in the Easter drama. Her future plans include majoring in special education and history education with the hope to teach and inspire future generations. She will. <laughs> Our next high school graduate is Emily Autumn Lovern. And Emily is the daughter of Verna and Kenny Lovern, and she graduated from Auburn High School. Emily was in concert choir all four years of high school. She was in the yearbook staff for two years. She was president of the Educators Rising Club, and she was in Help Save the Girl Next Door Club. She was also a part of the Bible study, mindfulness, and also the Tri-M Honor Society. She did an internship at Falling Branch Elementary School as a guidance counselor. She also did an internship at the Montgomery County Sheriff's Department, an internship at Montgomery County Department of Social Services. Emily has a certificate of completion for child abuse and neglect and a professional development certificate of completion for Virginia pre-service training for child care. She also graduated with honors. Her church activities include going to this church for the past 17 years, where she has been the, in the Easter drama for the last 13 years. She's been to Winterfest for four years in a row, and she is also a member of the Sanctuary Choir and the Praise Team. Her future plans are going to New River Community College for two years, then transferring to Radford University to pursue her dreams of being a social worker. Our next high school graduate is Andrew Ryan Mann. He is the son of Emily and Brian Mann, and he graduated from Radford High School while attending Radford High School, Andrew was in the basketball program since the eighth grade, including being a member of the 2019 Virginia State Championship basketball team with a perfect record, wait a minute, of 30 and 0. He was also part of the varsity, excuse me, uh, soccer team since a freshman and he was the varsity team captain he was part of soccer the soccer state championship runner-up team a member of the fellowship of christian athletes he was on the ab honor roll throughout high school he was a member of the national honor society his diploma has the board of education seal the career and technical education seal excellence in civics education seal and he graduated with a 3.63 GPA <laughs> Andrew also loves woodworking backpacking and the outdoors he volunteered at Camp Maranatha where he was part of the cleaning crew the wreck and sports and he was a camp counselor while attending the Fairlawn Church of God he has been part of the youth group doing skits and plays, and he was also a member of the church volleyball team. His future plans are to attend the ACCE program at New River for two years, and I think you said that was free? Whoa. Anyway, two years free, then he's going to transfer to Virginia Tech, and his goal is to be a school principal or a school counselor. Our next graduate is Cindy, Cin can I please speak, Sydney Dawn Pugh. She is the daughter, she is the daughter of Amanda Pugh, 
and she graduated from Pulaski County High School. While attending Pulaski County, Sydney was a member of the Color Guard. She was a member of the FCCLA and also Absolute Independent Competitive Color Guard. She, at three years at Pulaski County High School, Sydney was in the child care program and served as an intern for one year. While attending the Fairlawn Church of God, she has been an active member of the Flawless Youth Group. Her future plans are to go to New River Community College and then transfer to Radford University, majoring in elementary education. Our last graduate is Justin Michael Turpin. He is the son of Tammy and Randy Turpin, and he graduated from Pulaski County High School. He was part of JV baseball and varsity tennis. He graduated from the Governor's STEM Academy for manufacturing and welding, and he was duly enrolled. He graduated with high honors with a GPA of 3.96. <laughs> He was a member of the National Honor Society, and he is also a volunteer fireman for the town of Dublin. His church activities include being a part of the drama, The Glory of His Resurrection, and his future plans include attending New River Community College in the fall for general studies. And usually this is the place where I present the class of 2019 to you and they're dismissed. But today, I have felt led by the Holy Spirit to have the youth pastor, Timmy Harris, come and pray over the graduates. Congratulations. I was praying for you the past couple days in preparation. There was a word that continued to flash in my mind that I wanted to leave you with. I know that you've all been through graduation ceremonies. You've all had valedictorians. You've all had many people who are smarter than me speak to you. But there was a word that I want to leave with you that I believe that the Holy Spirit impressed upon me. I know that I know that you'll go many places in life. I know that many of you have plans to be teachers and medical professionals and and all kinds of great things. But the word that kept coming to my mind was represent. And I was going to be funny and just tell you how old I am because when I was in high school, that was, that was the cool word, like represent, man. You know, you got to represent. You throw the peace sign up, right? Represent. And I would, I, and that word is familiar to me because I used to tell, I used to coach high school basketball and I'd tell my team, I would say, you represent something when you put that jersey on. And Andrew, you probably heard that from your coaches. You represent something. But the word represent is funny because when you break it down, it's actually represent. So I want to leave you with this this morning. No matter where you go, no matter what you do in your careers, <clears throat> as mothers, as fathers in the future, always represent Christ to the culture. It doesn't matter what job title you have or what label you have in our society. You are called to be culture changers. And you do that by representing Christ through your life each and every day. You're not just going to be teaching kids. You're not just going to be, if you're holding children and you're a daycare worker, you're not just holding them children. You're not just teaching those kids. You're not just working in the medical field. You're representing the living God to the culture around you. So today I want to leave you with that. No matter where you go, no matter what you do, you are a representation, you're an image bearer of Christ. And I believe that there's great things ahead for you. So I'm going to pray over you and I'm going to ask my wife to join me. Would the congregation just stretch your hand forward? Father, we touch and agree, Father God, as, as the Fairlawn Church of God and I, I decree over these graduates, God, young and old, Lord, I decree that you have great plans for them, for you said you did. Father God, that you have plans that no man could make for them. And Lord, I'm asking that you 
Send them into those plans, but God, let them never forget that they are your representation to the culture around them. Let them know that they already have exactly what they need for the rest of their life, and that is Christ in them. So right now, Father, as your representation, I send them like arrows in a warrior's hand. I send them to what they're called to in the name of Jesus. I send them to everything that they're called to, every dream that they have. Lord, I ask that you awaken dreams inside of them. Lord, I ask that as they dream throughout the night that, Father God, you would put place dreams in them for the culture around them, not just dreams of making money, but God, I'm asking for dreams for the culture around them. I'm asking that they be culture shifters for you, God, that they'll shift the culture around them by you being in them, God. Let them not think small. Let them think big. Let them dream big and let them always go the path that's least desired, but the path that leads to righteousness and holiness. Father God, I decree in Jesus' name and we send them as the Fairlong Church of God. We send them to everything you've called them to. And I decree your hand of protection, your hand of love, and your hand of blessing upon them in Jesus' name. Amen. And all you high school graduates, we have a small gift from you for you from the uh, Flawless Youth Group. Thank you for your time. Who do I turn it back to? You.